The BBC has learnt that the police force that dealt with the murder of the MP Joe Cox have invited every MP in West Yorkshire to a safety briefing this week. It comes as a result of a BBC survey found that one in four Yorkshire MPs say they've received a death threat or abuse in the last three years. Some viewers may find some of the details in this report by BBC Look North's David Rhodes disturbing. The threats and abuse come in all forms. The words have a common theme, though. Whilst the pictures of beheaded human bodies sent to MPs are just too horrendous for us to broadcast. Hi there, it's uh, David from the BBC to see Mr Mann. For experienced, high-profile and at times outspoken parliamentarians like John Mann, the abuse in recent years has become incessant. I've had three death threats, what I call serious death threats. Air rifle fired through the window, I've had human excrement on the front porch. I and my staff have had training in dealing with um, knife wounds, for example. Threats to MPs, violent threats. That is becoming more of the norm. A Look More survey has found that one in four MPs in Yorkshire have received a death threat or abuse in the last three years. Of those that responded, a quarter said they'd been subjected to harassment or stalking, and nearly all of them had said they'd recently made revisions to their security. We've also learned that MPs in West Yorkshire will this week be invited to a police security briefing. We think it's important that we uh, begin and, and keep working with our MPs to help them to do their job. Uh, they do need to be open to and accessible to people. There are West Yorkshire MPs already working closely with the force. Halifax MP Holly Lynch and her staff use a fingerprint system when they arrive or leave the office, and they also use other technology to stay safe. We carry personal attack alarms. If we have any concerns, if we're in any imminent danger, we can press this button and that will put us straight through to West Yorkshire Police. Do you feel unsafe? There are times when I do, yeah. Scared? I always try and avoid it and I try and not let it interfere with being a good MP. A good constituency MP wants to be out and about and I've never let it stop me doing anything. In the aftermath of the murder of one of Yorkshire's brightest and most promising MPs, there was much talk about changing the way we do politics. There was a hope of making it more inclusive and less divisive. But three months on from the death of Joe Cox, what has changed is this. More MPs are now erecting more barriers. David Rhodes, BBC Look North.